Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing sort of a bizarre impromptu mini haul of kind of strange things, but I've had kind of a fun weekend this weekend. I went to Rogers Gardens yesterday in Newport Beach. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on Instagram, I have a flower garden that I'm just absolutely in love with. And every day when I get home from work, I, you know, put on a big, huge nightgown and I'm out in the backyard <laughs> weeding and just, you know, just tending to my garden. And I'm just absolutely loving it this year. Um, so yesterday I went to Roger's garden because I just wanted to buy a couple little pretty things for my garden. I didn't exactly get what I thought I was going to get, but um, a few weeks ago on Instagram, I bought this little gnome uh, gnome village. Um, I can't really show that to you guys, but I think I have a picture on, oh no, I don't have a picture. I was putting it on my Insta stories, but I walked through Roger's gardens and got lots of inspiration yesterday and ended up with a couple more to add to my little gnome garden. So I just wanted to show those to you. Um, I pulled them, they, they were actually in my garden and I went out and I pulled them out. So they have a little bit of dirt on them. But this is my little cottage and it actually has a door that opens. And so it's like I have it nestled amongst my uh, flowers and I've got yellow and pink and purple. I've got lavender that's going crazy right now. And then I have this little tiny hen house. Look, it's got dirt all over it. It's on my bed, but I've got paper underneath it. Don't worry, you guys, I'm not getting my bed all dirty. It's got a, it's a little hen house and then I've got uh, a little bridge here that's really pretty and so they are in this perfect little setting outside in my garden and I'm absolutely loving it um, and so that's sort of where I'm spending a lot of my time right now as soon as I get off work I'm in the backyard you know we have like an easement that a slope that goes up above us and as soon as I get home from work I have my hair up in a bun I'm in like this huge big nightgown and maybe a sweatshirt on and I'm out there like weeding and stuff like that and I think my neighbors think I'm like that crazy lady oh that crazy lady that walks around in big moos um anyways and I wanted to show you I got this from Target today I think it was $7.99 but I love writing in notebooks um at work and my notebook um that I got from Tiffany Agenda Love love my agenda it's just about full, so I have to start a new one, and this one was only uh, $7.99, and I just think it's gorgeous. Like, look at those colors. And I always, I don't know, when I start a new notebook, I just always feel like it's, you know, you can set yourself up fresh, and you can set your intentions to stay on top of your work, and um, anyway, so I just thought this was really pretty, and you catch a theme going here. I just am really into um, everything spring-like and everything uh, pretty and floral. <laughs> Wanted to show you guys this. I got my um, beautiful Victorine wallet in the mist color. I showed it to you guys uh, about a week or so ago, maybe one or two weeks ago, and I'm absolutely loving it. I filled it up right away and have been using it, and it is awesome. I love this. You know, I've already got a Victorine wallet, so let me just shove my credit cards in there. Um, but that's it, the interior, um, it's the perfect size for me. I'm just loving it with the gold toned hardware and this mist, uh, colorway is my favorite from the By the Pool collection. And I'm using my Capucines, um, uh, handbag today. It's, uh, BB size in Galet. Strap is all mixed up. And I just think this is really pretty. I posted a picture. I stopped by for coffee at Bodhi Coffee this morning uh, in Lake Forest. And I posted a picture on Instagram of these two just uh, in the sunlight. It looked really pretty together. And for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I keep on saying that over and over again. This isn't a plug for my Instagram. You guys can do what you want. Follow me or not. Um, I... I am in love with and have put a deposit down. I, I pre-ordered an Elma BB that's coming out May 7th. That is by far the most stunning, gorgeous Elma BB I've ever seen in my entire life. I uh, DM'd uh, Foxy LV Angel. She's a good friend of mine and I DM'd her and I said, you know what, I'm thinking about maybe adding uh, one stunning Elma BB to my collection and to, to sort of like round it out and just complete it and uh let me know if you if you um hear of anything or if you see of any that are coming up and of course you know she gets to preview all the upcoming collections 
within a few days she sent me a picture of this one it's absolutely stunning it's the bb it's um camel color with gold uh louis vuitton symbols all over it i can't really explain go to my instagram and have a look it's camel color and it's in the calfskin the same cerulean leather that the capucines are in um so this beautiful cerulean leather um Alma BB size, it's got an adjustable strap, it's got feet on the bottom, but the interior will take your breath away. It's jacquard, I think you say it, that's how you say it. The interior is jacquard textile lining, I think, but it's in the brown um, mono, uh, Louis Vuitton monogram. I, I can't, I'm not explaining it well, just go over to my Instagram and have a look at it, but it's very, 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 very expensive. And, um, I've been having second, third, fourth, fifth thoughts about it. It doesn't come out until May 7th. I'm gonna decide when I see it, but I think that if I do buy it, it'll be the last bag I buy for a very long time, especially in that price range. Um, but I, you know, I have this beautiful Capucines. I have my Montaigne BB in black emprunt, and I was thinking that Camel would just sort of round out my, um, my kind of designer high-end handbag collection. So we'll see if I get it. I don't know, I'm gonna go see it. I've let my essay know, please have realistic expectations. I don't know if it's gonna come home with me because I absolutely have to love it because I'm really being careful with my money right now. So we'll see. I have two more things I wanted to show you. Um, so yesterday I was in Newport Beach and went over to Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach and then there's a little shopping area uh, right around there and I used to go there all the time but I haven't been there for a while. I wanted to get a latte. So I stopped at, stopped at Pete's Coffee and got a um, chai latte and then they've got so many beautiful boutiques there. Um, and they had a White House Black Market there. Um, and I saw this dress in the window and I tried it on and I absolutely loved it and then I didn't buy it and then I just thought about it all day today um, and last night so I went back to shops at Mission Viejo today and bought it so um, it's this beautiful summer dress this one is a size small it's kind of um, you know normally I would take like a small medium and even this is like a little bit big on me so I just think that they, you know it's running a little bit larger but it's just gorgeous it's this um, light fabric and it's this white creamy color with I don't know it's just beautiful it's just beautiful and uh, especially with I think I was wearing this yesterday this sweater um, and so it just you know like for um, a little summer look might wear this to work tomorrow um, so if I do I'll take some pictures and put them on Instagram uh, no pockets I love pockets and dresses but this one doesn't have a pockets and it was a hundred and sixty dollars us um and i just couldn't get it out of my head so i went back and i got it today so super happy with that um again it was from white house black market um and then this last thing i'm going to show you so we went to shops at mission Bio today uh, i got my second pfizer shot at 10 30 and my husband was with me and so then we decided to shoot down to um, shops at Mission Viejo so I could go to White House Black Market to get this dress and then we usually just walk around and my husband loves to you know look in the men's wear department and we always end up in the food court um, Paradise Bakery we, we always get like a dozen cookies and um, I usually get like they have a really nice side salad for $6.95 add chicken for $2 so uh, you know that's I'll usually just eat breakfast and then I'll have like a huge big salad with chicken and that'll be it for the day for me. So um, we're, we kind of have this routine. That's what we're doing usually on Saturdays or Sundays, heading down there and Jay gets his dozen cookies and I get my salad. Um, and then we look at a couple things. We stopped in Tesla today because Jay's wanting to test drive a Tesla, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, you know, we've got this whole routine and he'll go to Nordstrom and he'll look at the menswear department and the handbag area is right next to the menswear and I saw this one and okay, so Lady B and I went to South Coast Plaza together a few weeks ago and we went into the Tory Burch and we were looking around and I found a bag and I really liked it. It was bright, bright yellow because you guys know that I'm looking for that yellow handbag. 
and I bought it and then I returned it the next day. And so I think my girlfriends are kind of laughing at me because I'm kind of having a pattern here of buying, um, hand, you know, Coach and Tory Burch bags and buying them and returning them or buying them and keeping them for a couple months to a year and then giving them to one of my sisters or nieces or you know every now and then I will sell them so like the lower end handbags don't tend to stay in my collection very very often and then I saw this one and then my husband was even teasing me he's like Wendy you're gonna buy it you're just gonna return it why are you buying this bag but I just it I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna keep it so maybe I'll ask your opinion do you guys think I should keep this do you guys think that this is something that I'm gonna be happy with should I what should I do please leave it in the comments below let me know let me know but it's really cute isn't it it's this subtle yellow color um i didn't do a very good job of showing you it's it was in this tory birch uh dust bag um it's from nordstrom and it was the dress was 160 in case i didn't tell you and this was 328 um it's a little tiny bucket bag. I think it's called the Ally McGraw Mini Tote or some Mini Hobo or something. What's this thing called? McGraw Small Bucket Bag, uh, one size. And I think it came in this color, a black, and then a, like a taupe. But I just thought it was so pretty in this like, they called this color jackfruit. And you guys know that I'm a little bit colorblind, so I don't always know colors. <laughs> So I was even asking the lady, I'm like, that's a, that's like a light, light yellow, right? And she goes, yeah, it's, it's like, um, like a pale, pale yellow. She called it jackfruit, but it's Tory Birch mini McGraw bucket bag. It's got the top handle. It's got like, um, tags and stuff that are all attached here. So it's, um, so yeah, it's got this little bucket handle. It's got an adjustable, detachable, removable strap with several holes. So you could make that whatever size you needed to make it. Like that would give you a lot of flexibility. Um, it doesn't have feet on it. I don't know the dimensions, but I'll look it up and I'll let you guys know what they are. I'll leave it in the description box below. Um, they said they just got these in. So this was the only one that they had but the interior looks like this. Uh, it's got a pocket here, and then it's got a pocket there. And uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just quickly, quickly throw a bunch of stuff in here from my purse. Whatever's in here is my bare bottoms essential. So let's see, because I didn't get a chance to do that in the store. I'm gonna quickly, quickly, without really giving it too much thought, just throw my stuff in there and we'll see if it works. And if it does, it might be a keeper. If not, <laughs> everybody that knows me well, so there's nothing in there. Everyone that knows me well will be right that I'll just return it. So I've got my mini pochette, uh, Louis Vuitton mini pochette with all my stuff in it, like lip glosses and lipsticks. You know, who wears lip glosses and lipsticks anymore? I always have, I have all this stuff in here and then I never even reach in here very often. Like I'll, I'll get chapstick or something or like, eye drops, but I hardly, I swear I could get most of my stuff out of there if I had to. My wallet that I showed you guys. I've got my uh, business cards and my keys for, some of my keys for work, like for my office door. Uh, I've got, uh, this is my other Demi, Demi Graffite and Demi uh, Bean key clay. So this is for my work and this is for home. So it's got my keys and it's got my car key in there so we'll put those in there guys this is really roomy uh, my uh key for work to get inside the door um my cheapo coach outlets 50 dollars sunglasses that i keep sitting on and having to like <laughs> bend back into shape and then I've got a couple of masks. Um, you guys, look, it fits everything. It fits everything in there. Uh, I looked online and this said that this was uh, capacity small, but I mean, look at that. It's got everything in there. And you guys know that I like a top, like I need to be able to reach into my bag. And then this is it. 
crossbody. And 5'9 for reference. I think it's really cute. And I think it's a great profile and it's super light. And then here's what it would look like. I'm gonna crook my arm. I'm sorry, I'm keeping this. <laughs> this is cute. You guys know I've been looking for a yellow bag. And this is like a really fun, um, like proportion and sizing. And yeah, the price is right for this. I think this is adorable. I'm keeping this. It's great, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's cute. So um, that, I think I'm keeping it. <laughs> I think I'm keeping it. I'm going to give it some thought. Man, you guys, I'm just so wishy-washy these days. It's just that I'm being really, really, really careful with how I'm spending my money. And so I'm over, like, I'm double, triple, quadruple thinking every purchase that I make. And that's why as much as I love that Alma BB, I just can't imagine spending that much money on one. So I think in my heart, I know what my decision's gonna be, but I will go have a look at it. Um, I might need to take a girlfriend with me for strength. <laughs> so I make a wise decision. Um, but yeah, that's my little, that's my little splurge. This cute little bucket, again, this came in this jackfruit color and black and then taupe, I believe. Um, but no, this is a great little summer bag. I think it's super cute. I think it's really darling. And it's the color yellow that I was looking for. So I'm going to keep it. I don't know how, how long I'll keep it for. I don't know where it'll end up in six months. It'll end up in one of my nieces or my sister's or a friend's closet. Or maybe I'll give it away here. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. And then this beautiful dress um, from White House Black Market. Um, this one is in a size small, it's $160. And then my little notebook from Target and then my cute little cottage. I think this is so sweet. It's got, it's so sweet. Um, you know, I've got this, I've got my flower garden and I was, oh man, I just broke the, another thing for my husband to glue for me because I just broke one of my angels. Um, in my garden today and so my husband bought some super glue and now he has to glue this too because the door fell off i'm having that kind of day <laughs> i really am all right guys uh do i have the guts to post this it's kind of been a goofy uh video but i'm wishing you guys all a wonderful day and um go outside and enjoy the beautiful sunshine if you have it um and continue to be safe you guys We'll talk to you soon. Uh, bye.